Cats in the service of Her Majesty in the eternally cloudy and dank England, a real paradise for rats and mice, cats have always been treated with respect, moreover, tailed ones have even been promoted to the rank of civil servants. Unbelievable, but true. Elizabeth II has a whole staff of fluffy pets at her disposal, who are called upon to tirelessly guard all important state facilities. So, for example, in London libraries, archives and other places of state importance, cats are obliged to catch rodents that encroach on securities for a real salary. The fashion for servant cats appeared in London quite a long time ago more than 100 years ago. Pioneers in this important matter were cats guarding parcels and letters from rats and mice in post offices in Britain. Today, tailed ones serve in three post offices in London, the British Museum, the Palace of Westminster and even the Treasury. However, three are considered the most famous. Larry, Palmerston and Gladstone, and in the fall of 2017 another Eastern colleague joined them. In April 2016, a cat named Palmerston took up the position of senior mouser at the UK Foreign Office. This prompted us to talk about cats in the service of the government of Her High Majesty Elizabeth II, by the grace of God the Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain, Northern Ireland and her other realms and territories, head of the Commonwealth, defender of the faith, autocrat of the orders of chivalry. The most famous cat in the Royal Civil Service is Larry, a resident of the residence of the British Prime Minister at 10 Downing Street. Larry came into the corridors of power in 2011, straight from a London shelter for homeless cats and dogs. According to Prime Minister David Cameron, Larry is doing an excellent job as a mouser. It is known about Larry that he does not like men, including David Cameron himself. The only exception is US President Barack Obama, with whom Larry managed to make friends. This caused some jealousy on the part of the current owner of the mansion at 10 Downing Street. But Larry sneezed at Cameron's opinion. On his Twitter, he posts joking comments about the Prime Minister, other politicians and dogs, such as. The winter of 2015 to 2016 in London was unusually warm and damp. Local rodents, instead of sleeping, are extremely bred. Many old houses in London have been attacked by mice. It got to the point that the English Parliament was forced to allocate more than £100,000 sterling for the fight against rodents in government buildings. Employees of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs decided to save taxpayers' money and take care of the cat at their own expense. So the cat mouser Palmerston appeared in the Foreign Ministry. Cat Palmerston came to the service of Her Majesty from the same shelter as Larry. He was found on the streets of London, hungry and emaciated. The cat did not have a microchip, which means that even if it once had owners, it is impossible to identify them. The cat was named after Viscount Palmerston, one of the British Prime Ministers of the 19th century. Lord Palmerston became famous for becoming Prime Minister at the age of 71 and died at 80 while having sex with a maid on a pool table. This, as it were, hints that the Palmerston cat got its name for a reason. The UK Foreign Office issued a special statement regarding its new staff member. A new addition to Her Majesty's Foreign Service, Cat Palmerston, has been called upon, in his capacity as senior mouser at the Foreign Office, to reduce the number of rodents in our building on King Charles Street. In placing Palmerston, we worked closely with the Battersea Shelter, who meticulously inspected his new home, just as they do with all potential cat owners. According to the director of the Cattery Battersea Lindsay Quinlan Palmerston, a very self-confident cat who loves people in general and rubbing against them in particular. In addition to the veteran Larry and the newcomer Palmerston, there was also a cat Freya, who lived in the residence of the Lord Chancellor, Treasurer of Great Britain George Osborne. Larry. Cats, as in any normal unit, have their own boss, which is typical also a cat. The boss's name is Larry. For a long time, Larry lived in the residence of the Prime Minister of Great Britain at 10 Downing Street. Larry got into the corridors of power in 2011, straight from a London shelter for homeless cats and dogs, and more than successfully coped with the task. Moreover, if the Prime Minister has recently changed, then Larry cannot be replaced by anyone, he watches tirelessly, and is rightfully considered the main cat among all other pets. By the way, Larry is only happy about the changes in government structures. It turns out that Mr. Mouser cannot stand men, including he did not recognize Cameron. The only exception was the current president of the United States, Barack Obama, who managed to impress Larry. Such indulgence in the former prime minister even caused jealousy. But, as you know, cats sneeze at the opinion of others. 
By the way, Larry even has his own account on the popular social network Twitter, where he discusses the pressing problems of the UK, arranges verbal battles with Palmerston, and in November 2017, even congratulated Prince Harry on his engagement, expressing concern about the couple's lack of a cat. Gladstone was the third to enter the civil service. An offer that the furry mouser could not refuse came from the Ministry of Finance. Gladstone was only a year and a half old when he entered the service, a youngster, as the veteran Larry would say. He is a former homeless kitten who was picked up on the street by employees of the same Battersea shelter. Previously, Gladstone bore the nondescript name of Timmy, but upon arrival at the Treasury, it was immediately renamed in honor of the former Prime Minister and Secretary of the Treasury of Great Britain, William Gladstone. He, by the way, unlike Palmerston, did not become famous for anything indecent. Of course, Gladstone is also an advanced cat, and he has his own Instagram account, where he modestly introduces himself as the most popular employee of Her Majesty's Treasury. Gladstone also maintains a Twitter channel, where he helps to place other cats from shelters in good hands. Lawrence of Abdon. In October 2017, the cat Palmerston officially introduced his colleague, who joined the British Embassy in Jordan, on his Twitter. A charming cat named Lawrence Abdon got into the service of Her Majesty the same way as older colleagues through a shelter, more precisely, through the organization Humane Center for Animal Welfare. Before Lawrence Abdon was confirmed as the first duplicate working for the Crown abroad, he had to prove his worth as a mouser during a probationary period. It is noteworthy that Lawrence Abdon became the first diplomat cat working outside the UK. The main task of the cats who manage to settle in state institutions is to prevent damage to property and catch to the vandals in time, with which Larry, Gladstone, Palmerston and Lawrence Abdon do an excellent job, each patrolling their own territory. So that the cats do not get lazy and do not miss the mice, they are fed according to the schedule every other day, so everything is in order with the instincts of Larry and his unspoken subordinates. The cats even wear their own uniform yellow bows instead of a collar, so that any visitor understands that this cat is a civil servant. In addition, as ordinary clerks, the cats receive a salary, however, very modest a little more than £50 sterling a year is allocated for the maintenance of each of the cats. Hoan Breed is a channel with animal content. We post videos about cats, dogs, kittens, puppies, rare breeds of cats and dogs, as well as everything related to these cute and beloved pets. Subscribe to the latest news about cats and dogs. At Paw and Breed you will find various rare cat and dog breeds, tips on choosing and caring for the right breed. Watch our videos about cats and dogs.